Do you like to use teamwork? Do you like to work by yourself? Do you have trouble working with others? Well, personally, I like to use teamwork because of the benefits. Teamwork is when a group of people try to achieve a goal or success. It also forms bonds and makes things easier. But you might want to know when you can use teamwork. You can use it in sports, school, jobs, family, and pretty much anywhere. In sports, I have experience with baseball, such as before the ball is hit, you have to know where to throw the ball to your teammate, and your teammate also has to know when the ball is coming. In school, I have experience with school projects. And in family, you have to, I have personal experience when you get up in the morning, you have to make sure everyone uh, gets to where they need to be on time. And in jobs, such as if someone drops a piece of paper, you help them pick them up, that is an, that is an example of teamwork. You might also want to know how to make a team. You have to have self-confidence self -confidence in yourself. You have to believe that you're going to make a team so you're, and believe that you can get, have a team so you can get your team to get the work done. And, and you also want your team to participate. When you want participation, so everyone wants to do the work instead of just sitting back, relaxing, and not doing anything. And you also want to build trust. Because if you build trust, then you won't have to worry about that, and it'll make the team flow. You want to encourage your team so you can make the team work. It'll boost their confidence to do the work that, they need, that needs to be done. And you also want to set goals. If you set goals, then your team will know when to get the work done and how to get it done. And you also want to respect them. If you respect your teammates, they will also respect you back. And you also want team balance. If someone does more work than the other, then that uh, might make the team go down the wrong path and they could start arguments. When you, when, when you start to think of the team, you might start off thinking, you might split up in groups and you'll think differently. But when you come together, you'll come up with great ideas that can help the team a lot. You also want agile teams. You want to move fast and quickly, but you might not want to do that because you could mess up. And you also want great listeners. If you have great listeners, then if someone could say something that can help the team a lot, but if you don't listen, you don't know what to do. You also want ongoing relationships. You want everyone to be a friend and everyone to be a part of what's going on. If someone feels left out, then that could be really bad. Mr. Godfrey, my mentor, his passion is playing and coaching soccer. He says that there's a lot of teachers, students, and sports players that don't get on task and they want to do their own thing. LeBron James, despite that he mo might be one of the most selfish players in the NBA, he leads the NBA in assists. Michael Jordan says that talent wins, talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. At first, you might not think you're going to be a good leader. You might think that you, you will lead your team the wrong way, but, and you might also get off track. That could be really bad because you might not get the work done. And if, you get, if, the work, if the project is due tomorrow, but you go home and you don't have an email or a phone number, and you can't communicate with your teammates, so you won't know what to do. But there are solutions to this. If you change your inner voice, then you'll, you need to believe in yourself so you, that you'll lead the team the right way. And you also want to stay focused. If you stay focused, then you'll get all the work done and winning, when it needs to be done. And if you stay organized, you need to know where all the papers are so you don't throw them away because then you won't know what the assignment is and that can be bad. First, you want to try something new, such as sports, like baseball, football, soccer, because all of those include teamwork. And school, and school activities, such as debate team or student council. You also want to rely on your team, because if you rely on your team, then uh, you won't have so much stress on your body. Personally, I have fun with my teammates because of all the teamwork we have done together. You also need to be responsible. You need to know where everything is, and you also want to have fun with your teammates. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and get involved in group activities, because teamwork is the way to go.